मुझे लगा कॉर्पोरेट लाइफ कुछ ऐसी चीज़ है जो मैं चाहता था मुझे लगा मैं तैयार था पर नहीं एवरीथिंग फील सो ओवर वेलमिंग सब यहाँ पे कॉन्फिडेंट लग रहे हैं और एक मैं हूँ जो कुछ नहीं कर पा रहा क्या मैं ये सब सही भी कर रहा हूँ छुड़ास फॉर हेल्प या मुझे ये लोग स्टूपिड समझेंगे एंड देन देर इज दिस कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर कैसे मैनेज करूँगा ये वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस काश मुझे कोई एक दिशा दिखा दे कुछ ऐसा जिससे सब आसान हो जाए How did they figure all this out? When I was a software developer, so my first job was at Amazon. My second job was at Facebook. And I think at both the places, I learned few things which, if I knew to begin with, I would have done a much better job as a developer. I think during my learning journey itself, one mistake that I did—that's my first point—is to focus on whatever is happening in college and whatever skills I'm learning in college, rather than focusing on my fundamentals. and the real practical skills that are needed in industry. देखो कॉलेज में हम जो भी सीख रहे हैं राइट right? काफी सारी चीजें ऐसी होती है जो बहुत ज्यादा थियोरिटिकल है सिर्फ हम उसी के ऊपर फोकस करते रहते हैं क्योंकि हमें मार्क्स चाहिए इसमें दो चीजें मिस कर देते हैं हम पहली चीज जो फर्स्ट और सेकेंड सेमेस्टर में काम की चीज पढ़ते हैं विच इज फाउंडेशन ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग डेटा एक्शन गॉरिथम उसके ऊपर इनफ प्रैक्टिस नहीं करते हैं वाइल्ड वी आर लर्निंग ऑल दिस थियोरिटिकल कॉन्सेप्ट इन कॉलेज एंड अलॉन्ग विद दैट अनदर प्रॉब्लम विद कॉलेज और ड्यूरिंग द लर्निंग फेज इज दैट हम लोग रियल प्रैक्टिकल स्किल्स पर फोकस नहीं करते दैट इज वेब डेवलप मे बी इन टू डेज एज दैट इज ए आई वट एवर यू बिलीव आर द रियल प्रैक्टिकल स्किल्स विच विल बी रिक्वायर्ड बाई सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर्स इन द इंडस्ट्री राइट नाउ उसके ऊपर हमें फोकस कर दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी नीड टू इंश्योर मेहनत हम सब कर रहे हैं सीख रहे हैं बट क्या हम सही चीजों पर फोकस कर रहे हैं That is extremely important for all of us to do well in a software development career. So now, quickly coming to the second point, I think this is a mistake that I have definitely done. I remember at Amazon, I was stuck on a bug for like a week, two week time, and I was not asking for help. Even in college, I was very, very hesitant in asking for help if I was facing any issue in my learning journey. I mean, this is a mistake that all of us tend to do. I heard somewhere one quote which has really changed this for me. That if you don't ask for it, by default it's a no. So what's the harm in asking for it? The worst case, you will hear a no, but there is a chance that you will hear a yes, and that will help you move faster and unblock yourself, get to the next level faster. So asking for help is extremely important. I think learning journey में भी ये बहुत important है. कहीं पर stuck हो रहे हैं, कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा है, कुछ advice चाहिए, तो we should ask for help. And even when you are working somewhere and you feel you are stuck. somewhere you need some help you need some guidance just go and ask asking for help actually leads to the best sort of bonds that you will create with your colleagues as well and one thing that i do want to tell you is the fifth point is absolutely my favorite i think that has really helped me in amazon to do well so do stick around and make sure that you stay till the end of the video now let's quickly move to the third point i think uh, we hear a lot about work life balance right everybody is talking about how we need to maintain a balance between work and life i actually have a little opposite view on this i think at the starting of your career work life balance is should be least of your priorities what you should be worried about is how do you learn more how do you get more work done and i am not saying this because that will lead to the maximum benefit for your organization that is for your own benefit When I was at Amazon initially I had this uh feeling of that I want to make sure that I'll study or I'll basically uh work only for this much time rest of the time is my time and that actually led to me sort of learning a little slower than what I would have liked Within 2 3 4 months I got to a project which I was super excited about Jaise hi wo project mila I was spending 12 hours 14 hours getting that work done No some of you might say badhiya nahi hai yaar tumhare liye बट मैं बता रहा हूँ इन द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द करियर यू हैव मैक्सिमम एनर्जी दैट इज द बेस्ट टाइम फॉर यू टू लर्न दैट इज द बेस्ट टाइम फॉर यू टू इन्वेस्ट एज मच इन योर लर्निंग एज पॉसिबल एंड लर्निंग का बेस्ट तरीका है काम करो ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा कोड करो ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा प्रोजेक्ट्स पे काम करो एंड यू विल गेट टू लर्न द मैक्सिम सो द एडवाइस आई एम टाइम टेल यू इज फर्गेट अबाउट वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस वो मेक वर्क योर लाइफ एटलीस्ट टू बिगिन विद राइट थोड़े टाइम में थोड़ी एनर्जी कम होगी कुछ और रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज आएंगी एंड वी विल डू ऑल ऑफ दैट बट टू बिगिन विद फोकस ऑन योर वर्क नाउ क्विकली मूव टू द फोर्थ पार्ट सो आई थिंक वेन वी आर इन कॉलेज फाइंडिंग द राइट पीपल हु हैव सिमिलर इंटरेस्ट एज वट आई वुड वॉन्ट टू डू सिमिलर इंटरेस्ट एज इन टर्म्स ऑफ वट आई वॉन्ट टू अचीव कैन बी वेरी ट्रिकी बट यू नीड टू रियलाइज दैट वंस यू गेट इन टू अ कंपनी you will be collaborating with so many other people and you will not be the only one working 
so you need to ensure even in the learning journey you learn how to collaborate you learn how to make big projects where you are handling one part of it somebody else is handling the other part of it that will teach you how do you ensure that the code still stays good things still work out and more importantly it also teaches you how to work in a team because this is one thing that recruiters will always care about whether you will be a team member good team member or not whether you will be able to work well with everybody else in the team so if you learn collaboration it will help you get better it helps you become better coder but along with that it helps you become a better team member eventually which is going to be very very important when you are trying to get hired now let's come into the i think one of the most important points among the six points that i want to talk about i think this personally actually helped me when i was at amazon we developers tend to think that somebody will tell me what needs to be done and we will do it i think you need to really break these boundaries and think beyond for example at amazon the product that i was working in i was constantly thinking about what we could do to improve this what are the things that we could do better what else we could do to sort of get things uh, to be more efficient now that technically is not a developer's job that's a product manager's job but you are constantly working on a product if you care about your product you will think about what i can do to improve it so if you actually are doing your work well if you are actually you really care about your work then automatically these product ideas will start coming in as well i think you should definitely try and do more than just dev work for example at amazon i found that there was one process that we had uh through which we were actually there was a lot of money which was going out of amazon which we could have avoided now i felt that we if we find an answer to this we could potentially lead to a significant sort of savings for the company now that was an initial thought i did not know how much money it will uh, save i was not aware whether that will be acceptable by the business team or not but i had a thought and i had made sure i decided to sort of quickly get into the data and look at potentially how much money it will save and that was actually millions of dollars that it could potentially save and i just went to my manager and i told him that yaar ye to kuch karna chahiye hame iske bare mein and that actually got approved and i was the one who was leading along with one or two more developers within 6 months of joining the company i was actually working on that project that i had thought of ki yaar ye kar lena chahiye isse kuch bahut fayda now what that shows to everybody around you is that tum acche developer to ho sath mein you actually care you actually have the ownership uh, capabilities that if you are doing something you are doing it well you are thinking about it and you are doing it the right way ab ek chhota sa idea uski wajah se mere ko do logo ke sath kaam karne ko mila theek hai amazon ne mere ko us bhej diya ek mahine ke liye main sirf 12 mahine maine amazon mein job kiya out of that one month i was in the us because that idea was potentially saving so much money that they wanted us to work along with the business team in the us theek hai ab after such long time into your career us mein thoda time spend karna itna important nahi lagta but us time pe to bahut hi excitement hoti hai bahut maza aata hai right so i think this is extremely important that we think beyond just the dev work that we have to do now coming to our last point which is building a good network see in the end when you grow into your career people you have worked with before people you have known before these are the people who will open opportunities for you i honestly don't believe that going to a networking event talking to 10 people is what i really believe is good networking what i really believe is good networking is people who you are learning with in your college or as part of some other program or people you are working with in your company these are the people you need to have a good network with these are the people who should be to a level impressed with your skills who should understand how good what are your strengths that they will be ready to vouch you for and along with that these are the people that you should have good connect with at facebook i have referred two people who were from my team in amazon who got hired at facebook when i was applying for jobs after stanford i actually applied to amazon and did not have to give interviews and they gave me an offer because my manager gave me a strong review and along with other couple of my team members they didn't feel the need to given uh, to have me give interviews again so this is 
if you build these strong connections if you build that strong connect these are sort of opportunities that will open up for you right those referrals are extremely important those are very very valuable uh, the recommendations and every job that you apply to very likely they will want you to do a reference check they will reach out to your manager previous manager previous team members to to check with them and to take feedback on you right so building these strong connects having a great network is going to be extremely important i hope this was helpful i would definitely recommend you to just quickly look at these six points again just quickly run through the video again note down these six points because i'm telling you these can be absolutely game changer for you in terms of you being an average developer to you being an amazing software developer if you are ready to match your ambition of becoming a software developer at a product based company with a sustained effort over a long period of time then coding ninja's job boot camp is the right fit for you if this sounds interesting definitely register for the program using the link in the description